News on the march. Hiya, hiya, kids. I'm always late to the party when it comes to what's happening in the e-cig universe. I mean, who's got the cash to try everything? That's why ECF and YouTube are such great resources. You can get a pretty good idea about a particular e-cig device. Is it a hit or a miss? What? Over the years, I've received lots of gear to review. And except for a few epic fails, everything pretty much tested out really well. Hey, if I didn't get stuff to review, I'd still be vaping one of these. But as Tennessee Williams wrote, I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. Because I'd have no idea what's going on if it weren't for some very nice e-cig manufacturers and vendors. I'd still be in the dark about, oh, just about everything that's happened since the ego twists and these clearmizers showed up. But once again, new toys came in the mail. And now I've entered a whole different world of vaping. To boldly go where no man has gone before. Yeah, and I'll follow a couple years later. Like I said, I'm always late to the party. So now let me introduce you to my first RDA, the Aroma Miser by Steam Crave. Oh, what's in the box? Glad you asked. You get the Aromamizer RDA and replacement seals, screws, a 510 drip tip adapter, and a handy little screwdriver. The Aromamizer is 22 by 46 millimeters, and here's what's under the hood. Cyclonic Airflow. It's a twister! It's a twister! <laughs> And here's some clips from Steam Crave's website explaining how things work. In my hands is a clear acrylic non-working version to show you what is going on on the inside. Many different types of RDAs offer cyclone action inside, but none of them actually have the fins to manipulate the airflow in order to do so. The air comes in from the top of the chamber, goes down, and comes back up to again. A chuff tip comes standard with all aroma misers. Underneath the chuff tip over here is exactly where the 100% spit back protection comes from. We could place the drip tip directly into the bell cap and you cannot even see down the barrel. So in case of over dripping, there is no chance of the user being stung. Because of the design of the airflow, there is no way that juice can come back presenting a leaky RDA. Also with the way that the airflow is designed at the bottom over here we no longer have to aim the hole towards the coil in order to get proper airflow to our coils 
Want to use your favorite drip tip on the Aromamizer? Here's the adapter. And if you're a constant overdripper like I am, no problem. It's so easy. Pull off the drip tip, squirt in your favorite flavor of juice, drip tip back on, good to go. The adjustable contact pin came in handy, but I'll tell you about that later. Build one or two coils, whatever vapes best for you. Is there a learning curve for the Aromamizer? Well, have you ever made your own coils before? I hadn't. Now, I could have clicked over to YouTube and spent an afternoon watching how to do it, but that seemed too much like um, work. So I called my favorite vape shop here in town, the Ohm Depot, and asked if one of the guys there could show me how to do it. In a short time, the guy cranked out two 0.3 ohm coils. In went the cotton, which I then saturated with my favorite homemade 555, put it on my Spear Mechanical Mod, using the appropriate battery, of course, and fired it up. Nothing. But then, that's why there's an adjustable contact pin. One small tweak later, ah, flavor clouds. Now I know why they call this a flavor chasing addy. I clicked around the internet and found the Aromamizer selling anywhere from 45 bucks to 37.95. I think that's perfectly reasonable if you're looking for a true flavor blast. For me, the Aromamizer is a great introduction to RDA vaping. I thought the learning curve would be too steep and I'd never learn how to make my own coils. No! And now I want to thank Maggie from Steam Crave for sending me this flavor cloud producing RDA, the Aromamizer. So, what's next on my vaping horizon? Stay tuned. You're serious?